founder of Options Pregnancy Center. So she's gonna, she has a very, very, very important talk, topic to talk to us about today, and we really appreciate her doing so, because we need to be well informed. Thank you. In 1973, I was a sophomore in school, and I remember sitting there on the day that Walter Cronkite said, um, Roe v. Wade has become law. And I remember looking at my mom and saying, they're not going to do that. That would be, nobody's going to do that. They're not really going to take the lives of the unborn. Well, guess what? They did. Now, 65 million later, we know it to be true. Here's what those people, I feel like, uh, at that point, that had, there had never been a precedence for that. It never happened before. Uh, the biggest thing that happened was they took prayer out of school. That should have been a lesson. Hello. Uh, but we didn't listen. They didn't listen. But now, we cannot say that. There's not one person in this room that can say that we didn't know, that we don't know what this is going to mean. The abortion industry has an abortion amendment that they just got um, approved to start taking um, uh, the signatures for petitions for. Here's what I need you to know about that. <clears throat> when I speak to a group like this, whether it's in a church or a large area, what I know that I'm doing is I'm speaking to somebody that um, thinks that there maybe should be some uh, leeway for rape and incest and a uh, fatal anomaly. This is not the discussion I'm going to have with you today, and I'll tell you why. This is much bigger than that, believe it or not. I want to read to you, I hope I can see it. I want to read to you what this all means. I'm going to read you from the actual bill, and on the back table is the bill. I brought you actual bills, and I'm going to tell you what I need you to do. I'm going to call to action. This amendment goes much further, way further than even a lot of the pro-choice people are okay with. Listen to this. When, in a physician's good faith medical judgment, abortionist services are needed to protect the pregnant female's life, protect a, a pregnant female from a physician, a physical disorder, physical illness, physical injury, and so on. Here's some dangerous language, and I'm going to show you where it goes. It says um, that the government of the state of Arkansas, its officers or its uh, political subsidiaries shall not pro prohibit, penalize, delay, or restrict abortion services within the first 18 weeks of fertilization, which equals 20. I want you to understand if you didn't know that. Uh, that's where we were when, Ro when uh, Roe was overturned. That's what happened in the state of Arkansas. That was five months, by the way. For those of y'all that don't know what those 20 weeks equals, that's a five-month baby. <clears throat> and it says, to include without limitation. Please sit on that a minute. To include without limitation a life in danger and physical disorder. It goes through that again. Now we're going to get to defining the major bodily function of a pregnant female. First of all, let me tell you that in the state of Arkansas in 2022, the that the CDC reported that there was not one abortion done for that. Just keep that in mind. Again, major bodily function to include without limitation functions of the immune system, normal cell growth, digestive, bowel, bladder, neurological, brain, respiratory, circulatory, endocrine, and reproductive functions, and operation of any individual organ within the body. We pretty much covered it. I'm fixing to be a little facetious. Please forgive me. They did everything except breaking a toenail. Really. I mean, all of us women know what that means. It's, there's nothing left. All of that we even deal with uh, on a daily basis. So abortion for any reason will be done all the way to birth. So even if you're over here on this side where you feel like that, and I'm not, again, I'm not going to debate that because this is much bigger than that, that it needs to, there needs to be this leeway for this. This is not the time to sign it, folks. This is not the one to sign. Because this one means if you sign that and you lay on the side of that and you go, but they said, 
Yeah, well, they didn't tell you that down here in the fine print, the rest of it past that second or third pa paragraph, that what they're saying is they, that for any reason, without limitation, there can be abortion done on a baby all the way up to the birth. Now let me say this, if you believe and you think, oh, it'll never happen in Arkansas, well, let's just remember 1973. Well, let's remember that because it will happen in Arkansas if we don't do something. We cannot sit back and go like, oh, well, it, it, it won't happen. They'll never let that happen. They are we. That's us. We are the people. We're the ones that make the decisions here, and we have to be the ones that open our mouth. We fail because we're not educated. You see, what we already know that they've done in northwest Arkansas is they have put the, they have put the amendment here, and then they have put another signature form here, and when the people wouldn't sign the abortion amendment, they said, well, would you sign the one over here for uh, tax-free diapers and tax-free formula? There's not one. There is not an amendment for that. Now, the, ta the diapers, they get free diapers under the feminine uh, hygiene uh, amendment that was done years ago. That's covered under there. But there's no formula. Formula's not under that. So what are they going to do with these signatures since there's no amendment with it? Hmm. I would think slide it right over here. You signed it, didn't even know you are going to sign it. We have to open our mouth. We have to tell everybody. I wish this room was full today, but you people have enough mouth to go back and tell other people. There's, there, the amendments are back there. On, I've highlighted. I've underlined. There's no reason for you not to be able to talk about it to anywhere to anybody at any time. But they're not done. Oh, no. They're not done. Wait till you hear this. To provide the abortion services assisted by a physician. Assisted by a physician. Didn't say performed. Assisted by a physician may only be provided in a hospital, an emergency department, a physician's office or clinic, a surgery center or a freestanding birthing center, or other licensed health care. So what they just told you people, they want to bring abortion to your county, they want to bring it to your city, and they want to do it right down there in the doctor's office where you attend. They want to open up a birthing center, and that birthing center would actually be an abortion clinic. See, most of us that we don't live that don't live in Pulaski County, we didn't. The abortion clinic was in Little Rock. See, it wasn't in uh, Lone Oak County. It wasn't in Craighead County. It was in Pulaski County. That won't be the case. They will take it all the way because that's their intention. But they're telling you, oh, but it's just for rape and incest and fatal anomaly. You better read the fine print because it goes further than that. <coughs> Abortion centers in every county. So Arkansas is to protect This is our policy, our constitution. The reason we did not have to fight like the other states had to fight to get this because when that trigger bill came, when this came up and the trigger bill kicked right in was because it was in our constitution already. A lot of the states didn't have it in their constitution. We did. Praise God. We had it. So, but this is what they wanted to say. It, our says now, it's to protect the life of the unborn child from conception until birth. And to the extent permitted to, by the federal constitution and the constitution of the state of Arkansas. To declare, this is what they wanted to say, to declare that all provisions of the Constitution, statutes, and common law of the state of Arkansas are null and void. Every pro-life law that you people have voted for, that you fought for, everything that has protected our babies and protected our mamas will be gone. Just like that. It does not have to make it to the November ballot. We can do something about it. But it's going to take all of us to do it. Just the Pregnancy Center Network, we're not the, we can't be the only ones that's out there. We need you. We all need each other. So, not only will all of those laws go away, but guess what? We'll never get another one. I mean, how would we ever get another one passed with that kind of mentality? Okay. 
all provisions, this is their last statement, all provisions of the Constitution, statutes, and common law of this state to the extent inconsistent or in conflict with any provision of the amendment are, ex are expressly declared null and void. It also says that this is um, self, oh, I, I lost it, sorry. Self-administ, it's not self-administrating. Self-executing? Thank you, self-executing. Self so, here's where we stand. It's not 1973, it's 2024. And not one of us can say that we don't know. The blood of those innocent babies, I know I'm going to say hard, but this is time to fight. We can't sit down. We can't play tiddlywinks over this. I'm telling you, the blood of the innocent children and the women of this state will be on our hands. Now, two representatives that I know, I'm guessing they're blue. I'm just guessing. Surely to the good Lord they are have made a statement that they will not stop until Arkansas is the California of the South. I'm thinking in a cat's eye. I don't, they, they're all moving over here because they want to get away from over there. So why in the world would we give up what we know? We're the number one pro-life state in the union. Why did that happen? It happened because of the people on the backs of the people who voted you and all legislators that fought for those pro-life laws to save those unborn babies, to save women from the, from the horror of what they have to go through, that they don't know till after it's done. That. That's on us. And history is about to be made. And we're going to be the ones that's going to write it. Because it's up to us. So here's what I leave you with. What do you need help with, Vicki? Here's what it is. I need you to grab one of those. I need you to go back to your church, to, you, to your community, and I need you to educate everybody. But come next week, and what they're doing now is they're doing drive throughs meaning um, they're advertising on their little websites, and they're doing drive through petitions. So you drive through. In Northwest Arkansas, it's different. They're out on the side of the street. But, but here in Little Rock and in uh, Saline County, they are doing big-time drive throughs there's a place I can get you the information where they're going to be at, but I believe that where we're going to see them really show up is come next week, right out there at the polling places. And we're going to have to be out there with our amendment to say, ma'am, before you sign that, you need to know that this means that it's going to take abortion all the way to birth. It's not, it's not just that. This takes it all the way to birth. So there's a, that's not the hill to die on right there. Go back if that's what you want. Work with your representatives. Get it a different way. But that's not the hill to die on. Because this is going to have it in your county, down the street from where you live. And you're not going to enjoy it. We need people to help us. We're going to be putting up billboards. We've, we've, we've got things in action already. We're putting up billboards. We're uh, raising money to get, uh, to get our, our uh, stuff out on uh, uh, social media. Uh, Northwest Arkansas is providing us with, uh, the pregnancy centers up there are providing us with some great, great um, videos with testimony, declined to sign, but it's going to go further than that because we're going to say abortion to birth, declined to sign. We want to know what they're declining to sign. Because at least that puts it out there and they're like, well, those people said decline to sign abortion to birth. So here's what I leave you with. Dwight D. Eisenhower said, neither a wise man nor a brave man lies down on the tracks of history to wait for, the, for a train of the future to run over. George W. Cecil said, on the plains of hesitation, bleach the bones of countless millions who on the threshold of victory sat down to wait and in waiting died. One more. Because I really want to bring this home to you. Let us not be content to wait and see what will happen, but give us the determination to make the right things happen now. That's horseman. We are Republicans. We stand for life. It's in our platform. It's what we do. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you for fighting for the babies. Yes, thank you.